ஹாய் ஹலோ வணக்கம் அண்ட் வெல்கம் பேக் டு எட் அனதர் எபிசோட் ஆன் லிட்டில் ஸ்லா யூடியூப் சேனல் ஸோ இன் திஸ் வீடியோ வி ஆர் கோயிங் டு டிஸ்கஸ் அபவுட் ஒன் ஆஃப் தி வெரி பேசிக் கான்செப்ட்ஸ் ஆஃப் பர்ஃபார்மன்ஸ் டெஸ்டிங் அண்ட் தேட் இஸ் கன்கரண்ட் யூசஸ் பிகாஸ் மெனி டைம்ஸ் ஐ மைட் ஐ ஆல்வேஸ் கெட் அ கால் ஃப்ரம் தி சப்ஸ்கிரைபர் ஆர் சம் ஒன் ஹூ இஸ் ஒர்க்கிங் இன் த பர்ஃபார்மன்ஸ் டெஸ்டிங் ஆர் சம் ஒன் ஹூ மெசேஜஸ் மீ ஆர் தே ஆஸ்க் மீ த்ரூ இமெயில் லைக் my client is asking me to run a concurrent user test he wants me to run a 1000 user a concurrent user test so they re- they really get confused when they get a word called concurrent users and in fact in many of the situations even the client or even the business are getting a confusion that whenever they come across the word called concurrent users so in this video we will see about what is concurrent users and i want to give you a confidence that whenever you get the word concurrent please don't get panic it's just a load so just don't get worry about whenever you get the word called concurrent users so in this video i will show you how or what is concurrent users and how do we use these concurrent users in the performance testing and before that let me show you so here i have google the word called concurrent right so when i search for the word concurrent you can see a very basic synonyms that that's the very basic meaning of it or the concurrency is it's like coinciding or parallel or side by side so any users that you run or the concurrent users that you execute is the side by side so if in case so here you can see i'm running the number of threads here is 1 and in case if you are increasing it to 50 then it is a 50 user concurrent or uh, 50 concurrent users or 50 concurrent users who are going to run as part of this test so i'll i'll just explain you uh, with what is concurrency here so before that let me even open neo load for you and i'll show you because i want to give you a clear idea on this uh, concurrency part so first let me tell you in performance testing the concurrent user refers to the number of virtual users or simulated clients that are active and interacting with the system or application at the same time so these users so these concurrent users are performing various actions simultaneously such as making requests so here you can see they make different requests so they are they have like multiple requests if in case if i enable this so they have multiple requests one by one but still they interact with the user interface or by submitting data but they do it simultaneously that's the only thing so that's how the concurrent user works so for example let's say i'm testing an e-commerce website and if i want if i set up a performance test with 1000 so here i'm just setting up this with 1000 concurrent users so it means that at any given moment during the test there will be 1000 virtual users interacting with the website concurrently or again i would say they are interacting parallelly or they are interacting side by side so that is the only thing so that's that's how we approach the concurrent users so there will be 1000 virtual users interacting with the website concurrently so these users could be performing tasks like browsing products adding items to their carts and checking out so i will tell you or i will just bring you few breakdown of how these concurrent users work so first firstly the user interaction so here you can see they interact with the user by sending the request so each concurrent user so each concurrent user in this test in the performance test represents a simulated real world user so all these 1000 users are a simulated real world users and they might be logging in they search for products they click on links they submit forms etc and continuous interaction that that's the key part okay so these users don't wait for each other they perform their tasks simultaneously just like real world users would do on a busy website say for example if the first user completes his first iteration he will then go on he do his second iteration the same way once he completes second iteration he go, moves on his to his third iteration same way all the 1000 users will do the same so they will do continuous interaction and then load on the system so the purpose of using this concurrent users is to simulate the load that a system might face in real world scenarios because this 
load helps in identifying how the system performs under heavy traffic and after that we get to see the response times and the throughput so performance metrics like response time so which is how quickly the system responds to a request and throughput which is basically the number of transactions completed per unit of time are evaluated for various number of concurrent users to understand system performance at different loads and that's why we need to run the test with concurrent users and then the stress testing so by increasing the number of concurrent users beyond the system's capacity will help us in identifying the breaking point or the maximum load the system can handle before it starts to degrade and nextly, or finally, I would say the scalability. So the concurrent users are used to evaluate how well a system can scale. So for example, if the system can handle 1,000 users, will it also handle 10,000 without significant performance degradation? So that's what you're going to find. So keeping in mind that the number of concurrency users we choose for a performance test should be based on a realistic projections of the expected usage of our system and it should reflect the number of users we anticipate to be using our application concurrently during peak times so finally i would summarize about the concurrent users so concurrent users in performance testing are like a crowd of people using a website or application all at once so again i'll give you an example and i'll just close it with that so imagine a busy shopping website and if thousand users are browsing searching and buying items at the same time they are considered 1000 concurrent users and testing with different number of users help us understand how well the website handle this busy traffic so it's like checking if a road can handle many cars at once without causing a traffic jam and this helps make sure the website can serve its users smoothly even during peak times so with that i come to an end i believe this video would be very useful to you and if in case you have any doubts on what is concurrent users please don't hesitate to comment in the comment section or please do call me at any time and this video i just want to create an awareness of how or what is concurrent users and to make sure you are having a better understanding on how this concurrent users works so until i meet you in another interesting video it's bye bye from vasan shanmugam and little slaw